What's up guys, Mike, MTG Jedi. Welcome back for part two of my spending two million Stardust in the middle of the night video. Um, we're going to start off with Ho-Oh here. Um, Extrasensory Brave Bird is the moveset I'm interested in uh, because I want Ho-Oh as a flying type attacker. Um, the premier flying type attacker in the game right now. Uh, against Machamp as well as uh, some other things as well but specifically I want to try it out against Machamp so go ahead and rock out to some music while I'm powering up this ho -Oh. I'm not fully powering it because I honestly don't have enough rare candies to do so um, but I am going to get it up to level 30 which should still bring it I think up to um, about 3,000 CP. So enjoy some. Okay, next up, let's go ahead and get into some Gen 3 Pokemon. Hariyama, which I have named Boo. Um, hopefully some Dragon Ball Z fans out there. Um, is a 93% IV. I worked really hard to find this guy, and that is the honest truth. I searched out so many Makuhitas. So many. Hundreds, probably. I don't know. I, I have to check the Pokedex. But I want to max this guy out and test him out um, because I think that he is going to be a great fighting type attacker as well. He is very tanky, so he's going to last a lot longer in a fight um, because he has one of the highest uh, max hit points in the game. He's definitely up there. Um, I was able to catch him at level 35, I believe. So I don't have to spend as much Stardust uh, and resources on him as I would. But um, there we go, 2752. Okay. And we need to use a fast TM on him as well. Forget Bullet Punch, learn Counter. Absolutely. And... Next up is going to be Walreen. I need to change both of the moves on this guy. I want him as a an ice type attacker. We have already spent 1 million Stardust so far between the power-ups on the last video and so far here today. But we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Maybe I'm going to regret this after a good night's sleep, but let's go ahead and power up Walreen. Here we go, guys. That's it. Oh, 2550. That's just such a nice rounded off CP. But anyway, we'll go all the way here. 2569. And of course, we need to TM him. Oh, guys. Alright, so we definitely need to TM him here. Fast TM on Walreen. Learn Frost Breath and not Water Pulse, Blizzard. There we go. Now, as I am thinking about this, 
I actually think I have not maxed out my Lapras. That is true. And that would be a shame to not have a maxed out Lapras and instead have a maxed out Walreen. So let's go ahead and max this guy out. I think I have enough candies. Yeah, with four extra to spare. I've actually caught a couple Lapras lately. 2562, and again, only 89% IVs, um, but I've had this guy for a long time. This is the moment you and I have been waiting for. This is Ralts finally evolving into Gardevoir. I have worked so hard for this, guys so hard. I have this 93% that we're going to evolve into Kirlia and I could not be more happy. This is the Gen 3 Pokemon I'm probably the most excited about. I'm I'm just super pumped about it and uh, I have been seriously going out of my way to hunt and find all of these Ralts so that I can power this up and max it out. I think I have the right amount of Ralts candy, which is a ton, because this Gardevoir came from a Ralts that was below level 20. Pokedex entry here. I don't even have to change the moveset. Perfect moveset. Confusion Dazzling Gleam. And 1,600 candies is the first power-up, so... Enjoy some music while I power this up. I'll fast forward it for you. It's definitely going to take a minute. Uh, so stick around and see how far we get up to here as we finish spending our Stardust um, and get this Gardevoir maxed out. Let's do it. Get it. <laughs> Man, that's a cool CP. So much Stardust, guys. So much Stardust for this Gardevoir. But it's worth it. It's totally worth it. Max CP Gardevoir. Oh, we're going to have fun with this one, guys. We are going to have some fun with this one. Let's do it.